Today is Thursday, April 29th, April 30th maybe. I have a jam-packed day of shooting today. I have been completely swamped with work the past three, four days, which is good, good sign, not complaining, not complaining, just, just stating that I've been completely swamped. I wanna follow up on my last video where I said it was my last trip with the van. I wanna kinda of talk about what my plans are. I've just had a lot of coffee, that's why I'm really talking super, super fast. So I think the best thing is just get in the car and get to these shoots and get the day going. Mm -hmm. hey! I have three shoots today back to back to back. Basically from about 9 a.m. to around 1.30. The first shoot is up in Deer Valley. The second shoot is in downtown Park City. And then the third video is in a development kind of outside Park City. And I think that is just an exterior video of the house. So the first one is to Deer Valley. Hey, I'm just shooting a video of deer crest. Articulate. Okay, so, so these, thank you. Hey! Also, just got word that my third shoe of the day canceled, so I'm only doing two today. So everything I said this morning is not really true anymore. I'm just doing two shoots back to back. This whole area, and then master suite, and the other bedroom that we staged. So this property up here has just been completely restaged, which means they took all the old furniture out and put completely new, fresh, more modern furniture. It used to be really dark and brown and just kind of dated. And then they just had an interior design company come in last week or two weeks ago and kind of update all that. So I'm really focusing on the rooms that got updated, like the main living space. Now I'm in the master bedroom, the whole master suite, and they did a great job. It's much more light, airy, makes everything feel so much bigger. And I'm gonna try to take that same sort of principle and apply that to my van with light colors, more natural, Feeling, rather than using dark brown blacks things like that it just makes the space look so much bigger and it breathes so much easier just wrapped that first shoot up I'm running about five minutes behind but I think I should be okay to make it down to my next shoot I was booked pretty close without a lot of wiggle room so I need to run back down to Main Street in Park City and try to find this lot to fly a drone around basically looks like this is the next task for the day. I basically need to highlight this lot right here. It's kind of tricky because there's a bunch of power lines around here and just being in tight uh, quarters with all the other houses, it can be kind of, kind of tough flying a drone up here, but we'll make it work. It's right in the heart of uh, Park City, just on the other side of this is literally Main Street. So I'm gonna do what I can, um, do a drone flight here about 30 minutes and see, uh, see what we can get. And that is a wrap on the shoots this morning. It was pretty simple because that third one canceled. Like I said, I flew two full drone batteries, so I made sure that I had enough footage because I had the batteries, so I'm not flying, you know what I mean? And now it just gives me more time to catch up on edits because I am super behind on the edits. Well guys, I gotta lock in here for about like two hours, two and a half hours. Hopefully I can crank out one of these edits. I did get called to do like another little mini shoot around 2.30, 2.45, so gives me literally two hours on the dot to see if I can crank one of these out. We'll see how it goes. project I have been tasked with for the day is capturing F-45 fighter jets flying over the state of Utah, in particular Park City right now, in honor of the coronavirus um, nurses and workers, everyone who's been involved in this fight, which is presumably everyone in one way or the other. So they announced that they're going to be flying all over the state of Utah and at 2.45 they're going to be coming up 
uh, through Park City. So my company wanted me to go up and try to capture that. I have about 20, 15, 20 minutes. I guess now we wait hey, for them to come by. Gotcha. After literally waiting about an hour, close to an hour total time, it turns out the Jets changed their route and they went to Heber City, which is basically on the other side of this entire you know, mountain range or ridge. And so we didn't even hear them, we didn't even see them. There's a group of us all waiting for them. And then it, we got like an announcement that they're not showing up. So I waited all that time for nothing, but I guess I tried. I wanted to make this video was just talk about what my plan is basically for the summer the next few weeks the next few months because the last video I made I said it was my last trip in the van I don't think everyone really liked that which I don't blame you I guess I don't really like it either but I just think it's the best thing to do for right now but as a follow-up of that what my plan is and I have talked about this before is I am going to build a sprinter van. I'm going to build out a Mercedes sprinter van. I actually have one basically bought, which is exciting. And I'm essentially just organizing the details to get it here to Salt Lake City. I found a 2013 sprinter van with only 50,000 miles on it. So extremely, extremely low miles. So like I said, I'm just coordinating the logistics to get it back here to Salt Lake City. I am like super, super stoked to learn about the build process and go through that entire that entire thing. I think um, it's gonna be extremely fulfilling and the actual act of building the van is gonna be just as um, special and important to me as actually having the van to go on an adventure with. Additionally, I know that once I have the van built out and everything, it's gonna be an absolute beast, an absolute monster to be able to go on even better adventures and just have a little more reliable piece of equipment that I think will be more heavy duty to just keep up with my entire lifestyle. It's kind of like having like the right camera, the right lens, the right gear for what you're trying to shoot. It's the same thing when it comes to the van. And I think it'll just help me unlock new adventures and new things we can all do together. So that is essentially my plan. I pride myself on being a great learner and um, someone who can just, you know, sit down, do the research and figure things out. So I'm not really worried about anything like that. I have done a ton of research already. So it's just gonna be an exciting, exciting summer. It's gonna be a cool project to, to really dig my hands in. I'm planning, hopefully, um, all depending on when I can actually get the van up here, I'm planning on this taking about three to four months. So hopefully this will be completely done um, right around the end of the summer into the fall. So around like that September, October range, hopefully it will be completely done and then we can hit the road in it. So I wanted to keep you guys updated, of course, with what is going on and just a kind of a follow up from my last video. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Another little peek inside of what I do during the week in between our weekend adventures so I can essentially afford doing this stuff. So with all of that being said, please drop any questions, comments, um, below i'd love to talk with you guys and just uh, chat about what's coming up so thank you guys so very much for watching another one of my videos and i will see all of you in the next episode which i really don't know what it's going to be but we will figure it out because that's what we do here so take it easy fam peace out Woo. Hey. Hey.